By the time Newcastle United walk out for their next Premier League fixture at Old Trafford on Sunday night, they could be just one point above the relegation zone. Apologies for sounding so pessimistic and negative but the much maligned Magpies didn't give us much to sweep away the Monday Blues at Stamford Bridge did they? Many had written this game off before a ball was kicked but the concern now has to be that the goal difference will have taken another battering by the time Manchester United are finished with us in between now and then. We can only anxiously watch on his full intake on Burnley and then Chef United in two grim basement battles in the top. Yes, Steve Bruce can point to two recent victories against Everton and Southampton but the harsh reality is Newcastle are swimming with the Sharks at the bottom. Take a look at the Premier League scoring table over the last 10 matches and we'll find the Magpies in the bottom. We're now down to the last 14 matches and United's top flight lies could depend on whether we decide to act or not in terms of a change. Let's remember that the remaining fixtures include that trip to Old Trafford. A visit to Liverpool, Leicester City away in Arsenal and Manchester City And that's before you chuck in away days at Burnley, Brighton, West Brom and worryingly Fulham on the final day of the season at Craven Cot. This one looked like an on-starter from the early moments It didn't take too long for the first opening to arrive for the home side as Marcos Alonso got the better of Emil Kraft and drilled the ball straight into the body of Carl Darlow in the first couple of minutes. On seven minutes a header from Chelsea skipper Caesar off Pili Quetta flew towards Darlow's goal but Dwight Gale cleared over his own bar with it. Moments later, Tammy Abraham was allowed a free header and glanced wide at the target as Chelsea made a positive start. It was hardly encouraging stuff from the Magpies on a weekend in which they'd slipped into Abraham then burst through again on 15 minutes with Jamal. Jamal Lascal sliding in for the crunching challenge and leaving the striker on the floor. The England international recovered and got on with the game but lasted only a few minutes before being replaced by Olivier Giroud. The forward Bruce tried to sign in January 20. Alonso headed across the face of goal with 27 minutes gone but Timo Werner somehow sliced wide from close range and the ball rolled out of harm's way. The move by Chelsea appeared to infuriate Bruce as he screamed to Kraft that the Sweden international was 20 yards out of th with half an hour gone. It was no surprise that Chelsea grabbed the lead with their eighth opportunity of the opening exchange. The only shock was it had taken that long. Werner atoned for his error after calmly dragging the ball past Kraft then delivering the ball into the box. Darlow did push it away but Sotiru hammered home just 10 minutes after appearing. Chelsea doubled their lead after appalling defending from a corner from Newcastle. Mason Mount's ball and brushed off the head of Clark as he battled in the air with Giroud but it then bounced awkwardly off Laskells before Werner's outstretched boot connected to beat Darlow for it. was a poor goal to concede by United as Werner got ahead of Jamal Lewis but in truth Newcastle had ridden their luck and would have been fortunate to go in at halftime just United won a free kick at the start of the second half but John Joe Shelby's effort was easily gathered by Cape on live stay up to date with Newcastle United with our black and white bulletin. It's never normal at Newcastle United, and we've formulated the perfect method for you to keep up to each week. Mark Douglas will be bringing you the latest Newcastle news, straight up, into your inbox with the black and white bulletin, a special edition of our MUFC newsletter to break down the tune late. Sign up to the newsletter and you'll get exclusive insight and analysis from St. James Park as Newcastle navigate themselves through the wake of a collapsing takeover as well as a new premiere. Don't miss a thing, click here, enter your email address and select the Newcastle United newsletter to sign. A chance for Joe Willick arrived on 53 minutes after Alan St. Maximin got free down the left and whipped in a low ball. The start of the second half was better from United but they still couldn't find a way past Ariza Balak. Shelby tried something different with an attempt from the halfway line but the Chelsea stopper simply pat. Bruce made his first change of the night when he replaced Gale with Joe Linton with 64 minutes on the Yet Chelsea were in full control at 2-0 and Bruce turned to his bench again to introduce Ryan. Fraser for the final 20 minutes to replace St. Maximin. The Scotland international made an early contribution as he curled in a decent cross for Willock but his header was tipped away but Darlow was called back into action when he saved with his feet to deny up Reece James after the England defender was handed a cameo roll for the Miguel Almire and hacked one over the top towards the end and there was a half-hearted penalty shout from sub at the Magpies started the way they finished. Tanglian with barely any cutting it. Most of them left the field with heads bowed and its man united and